Hi guys, Micro here. This is my video on the Essence of Finality Amulet. It's a really cool new item because it's made some really, really redundant special attacks actually relevant now, or maybe give some specs a good niche use or something like that in speed kills and things. Been really, really fun to test it out, so I'm going to give my findings to you guys, talk about the things that are good, the bad, and like the ones that are fun. So let's get right into it. In order to make the essence of finality, you need to have a Reaper Necklace and a Amulet of Souls. It can be one that you've already used, but you do have to repair it to 100% with an Onyx or two. As long as your Reaper and Souls that are bound to you are 100% charged, you can use those to make this new Amulet as well. Also, if you have an ornament kit on your old amulets, you can just split it to get those ornament kits off of it. Use those together to make the new ornament kit for the new amulet. Then once you have a Reaper Necklace, Amulet of Souls, and the new Alchemical Hydrix in your inventory, just use one of your necklaces on the Alchemical Hydrix and it will make the essence of finality. It's really nice that they've made it so you can use ones that were bound to you just by repairing them to 100%. Makes it really, really nice. You don't have to buy a new one or anything like that. Then if you did combine a Reaper and Souls ornament kit, you can add that to the amulet to take it from 56 in all stats to 59 in all stats. So it gives it plus three, which isn't bad. This amulet combines the effects of the Amulet of Souls and the Reaper Necklace. So you get the accuracy from the Reaper Necklace and the increase to Soul Split and Protection Prayers from the Amulet of Souls. It also obviously has better base stats, which is amazing. On top of this, you can use a weapon on the amulet that has a special attack to consume that and allow you to get an ability that is the special attack separately. So as you can see here on my amulet, it says special attack slice and dice dragon claw. So I used a pair of dragon claws on the amulet. It consumed the dragon claws and gave me the spec inside this amulet. Do be careful what you put in your amulets though, because you can never get the item back. You can override the special attack with another one, but you never get the old item back. Once you put a special attack in your amulet, you have an ability in your constitution abilities that is the special attack of the amulet. So for me, it is slice and dice. It costs 50% adrenaline and it works like dragon claws. But this then takes the damage and accuracy of your weapon. So if you're wearing a tier 90 or a tier 92, it's going to be that tier of damage for a Dragon Claw spec, which is pretty cool. The only limitation this has is you have to be wearing the same combat style to the special attack. So if you want a mage special attack like a Guthic Staff, you need to be wearing a wand or a staff in order to cast the Guthic Staff special. You won't be able to cast it with melee. Then you can just drag that ability on your action bar and you can cast it as long as you're using the same style. The only downside to this amulet is the repair cost. It lasts 100,000 charges of combat just like the amulet of souls and you can repair it by 50% using one alchemical hydrix dust. You get 10 dust per alchemical hydrix and an alchemical hydrix is about 130 mil right now. That would make the dust 13 mil each. So to fully repair a uh, Essence of Finality amulet 100%, you would need 26 mil. Although it will take a long time to degrade by 100%, it's still an expensive one to upkeep. It's probably going to take you about 50 hours or something to fully degrade it, which means currently it's going to cost you about 500k GP an hour to upkeep, which is quite a lot of money. So I wouldn't really advise using it at low tier bosses, but high tier bosses you'd be fine. And obviously, you know, if you're willing to spend that money, you can take it wherever you're willing to spend that much. I will also leave the wiki page to the amulet in the description if you want to read more about it. Because I'm going to be moving on talking about the special attacks now. I started testing this amulet out on dummies to see how hard I could actually hit with the specs to see if they'll be worth it. For example, I started off with the AGS spec. The AGS spec is just going to be damage capped every single time. It just hits once but hits super hard. So you're going to be damage capped at 12k in a Zerk or 15k if you have a Grimoire. And for 50% Adren, only hitting that isn't great because your Assault is going to hit way harder than 15k. And it's only going to cost 15% Adren. The same with, you know, Destroy and all of those abilities. So typically, something like the AGS isn't going to be that great because it's just one hard hit with no extra effects. Which then led me to try out the Saradomin God Sword because a lot of people were thinking that the hill would be useful. 
But again, it's going to be damage capped at 12 to 15k. It's 50% Adren, but it does heal you for up to around 7k if it hits its max hit, which is a lot of healing. But even so, 50% Adren just to heal you a bit back and do one hard hit just isn't worth it inside a Zerk, where you need all of the Adren that you can get. You're going to want to use all of your thresholds in a Zerk, and you're not going to get any of them off if you're going to need to spend 50% on a spec. And then outside of Zerk, the 50% just isn't worth it. So a lot of the items that people suggested and I tested just weren't good enough because they either hit the damage cap and cost a ton of Adren and then you're Adren starved or they were just weak. Although there are some highlights and some ones that stand out of the crowd which I'm going to speak about now then I'm also going to show you me using a couple of them and showcasing the fun side to the amulet. So the recommend special attacks for each style are on screen now. For magic, I would recommend the Guthic Staff. It's a spec that you used to use anyway, and now you can use it without worrying about, you know, swapping your weapons and losing your Aftershock stacks if you don't do it in one tick. So on top of not having to swap your weapons, it's also more powerful now because it can be up to tier 97 with an Inquisitor's Staff, which is insane. So it's really, really, really strong. For melee, I would say either a Statius Warhammer or Dragon Dagger. So now the Statius Warhammer has unlimited charges when you put it in the amulet. Before it would degrade to dust and cost a ton of GP to use. Now you can just cast it forever once you put it in the amulet once. The Statius Warhammer spec is really good for a ton of high tier bossing, especially group PVM. Because getting those two stacks of affinity on the boss is super helpful in terms of increasing everyone's accuracy. And if you don't do a ton of high tier bossing or you don't want to spend all that money on a Statius Warhammer, a good budget option is a Dragon Dagger. Doing a melee rotation, you're typically going to be rotating between Zerk and ZGS. And doing that rotation uses up a ton of Adren because you want to get your thresholds out in your Zerks and your ZGS specs. Which really doesn't leave much room for extra Adren. But if you get a Relentless proc or you have some spare Adren, that extra 25% Adren use on a Dragon Dagger spec is actually really, really useful. It's also really good to use the Dragon Dagger as an alternative over a ZGS if you don't have one yet. While waiting for your Zerk to come back up, you can use some Dragon Dagger specs with your excess Adren instead of camping 100%. Then a nice fun alternative is Dragon Claws. They are super adrenaline hungry and I wouldn't really recommend them in terms of like actual PVM, but they do have a lot of uh, niche uses in terms of speed kills and stuff like that. I'll showcase that later on. And then for range, I would recommend the Dark Bow. It is a 65% Adrenaline Special Attack, so it is hungry on the Adren. But you can chuck a cheeky Dark Bow in your rotation in range at some point because it has like the least amount of thresholds, to be honest. And that's going to hit a ton of damage when you use it. I wouldn't spam it though, obviously, because you're still going to want to use your Snapshot, your Rapid Fire, etc. over it. Then if you want a fun ranged weapon, the Decimation is super fun to use for stuff like Slayer. And again, just like the Dragon Claws, I'll showcase that in just a second. So these are the specs that I personally would recommend. There is other specs you can use, and there are other specs that work to some extent. But these are the ones I would advise if you want the best specs. In terms of damage output without using too much Adren, etc. This is my recommendations. I ended up testing the new amulet a load on stream and that's obviously why you can see my face cam and stuff. I apologize for that in this clip because it was taken from my stream and it was my zero second Grador kill, which is a one tick Grador kill. What I done was fairly simple. It was just making sure that I had the hits when I did it. So it took a lot of attempts to get the good crits. But once I got that, it was the one tick kill. I had to stall my hurricane on the dummy outside of the instance and then when I went inside I could target cycle, let the hurricane go that I had stalled alongside a dragon claws spec at the same time to absolutely obliterate General Grador. I've had so much fun doing speed kills with this amulet. If you guys would want like an in detailed version of like how I done this kill and stuff in a video. Let me know in the comments down below because I'd be 100% down to do like a speed kill video and see what type of times I could get at different bosses. It would be really, really fun. 
But just look at Grodor absolutely melt. That's what I meant by the claws being fun. I also went to Kriara and got a new personal best there of 9 seconds, which isn't too bad. My previous personal best at Kriara was like 20 seconds, so it's definitely better than my previous one. I was using my Eldritch Crossbow with the Darkbow spec in the amulet. So then the dark bow spec was doing even more damage and it was really, really satisfying. I also tested out the decimation bow with Slayer. It can be really strong in these situations. For example, watch these Edemu and they will go from 25k HP to nothing with an incinatory shot used with the decimation spec because it blows up and absolutely nukes everything with AoE damage. People chin Edemus anyway, so chinning Edemus is already an effective method. I don't think Decimation is necessarily any better than chins, but it's definitely a fun way to do it and it's really, really satisfying. And probably about the same kills an hour. So it's an expensive investment and stuff, but if you want to have fun with things like that, then yeah, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't really advise buying it for like efficiency, but there's definitely a lot of fun to be had with it. Just look at it explode, man. Stuff like that, so cool to see. And that's what this amulet does, and it's lovely. Thank you so much for watching. That'll be it for this video. If you are interested in buying this amulet, I would advise you chucking in one of these recommended special attacks and having fun with those. Give the video a like if you did enjoy. Do let me know if you want to see some speed kill videos and stuff in the future. It could be pretty fun to do. And as always, until next time, see ya.